we've all seen it and we all love it and so we should it's such a powerful moment you know it took the darkest moment for Te Tiriti in that house and turned it into for me the most hopeful moment that I've ever witnessed in that house the tearing of the paper the haka you know like I finally felt that here we go we've got some real in hana some real potential for change I'm noticing though that a number of clips are starting at the haka and I just want to point out I think you're missing one of the most powerful parts of what happened pay close attention Kawana Kafaka Manu Firitia Kweo Government, you exist by my say so, and I hereby revoke your rights. Shall we talk about what she's doing right there? Because it's so powerful and so important. It's reminding the government. That the government power is a delegated power. Delegated by who? Delegated by Māori. And if we can delegate the power, we can rescind it. She's invoking a history that is manifest in Article 2 of Hefakaputanga, which clearly states that only Māori may make laws in this country. And if anybody else wants to make laws, they can only do so when we delegate the power to them. She is claiming her authority as the rangatira to revoke the rights of government and turning them into a visitor on this land. And here's the most important part. She does not care if the government agrees with her or not. She's not bound or restricted by what the government thinks about what she has to say. She says it anyway. She speaks truth to power and she is speaking power into her truth. And of course the government's not going to agree. They acknowledged back in 2010 that Māori never ceded sovereignty and have done nothing about it since then. So of course the government's not going to agree. But if you are not going to walk your truth and speak your truth then how can you expect anybody else to walk that truth? And that, my friends, is what standing in your power looks like. <laughs>